Hey everybody, Mike here. Now this video is sponsored by DeWalt. We will be using a bunch of DeWalt's tools in this video to set up this concrete slab. Now we're setting up a 48 by 16 foot concrete slab. It's going to be 6 inches thick. It's going to have 2 inches of styrofoam under it. Now one of my favorite tools that DeWalt has sent us is this 9 inch 60 volt max cutoff saw. It's got a 9 inch diamond blade on it and we needed to cut out the corner of this asphalt concrete curb area because that's where the corner of the slab is going to go. Now, I don't, I don't know why they put asphalt in the curb into the corner, but maybe they had a change in uh, where the location was of the slab. So anyway, we ended up having to cut this out. And this cutoff saw worked really, really good to cut not only just the concrete, but also the asphalt all at the same time. And allowed us to get the job done you know get the slab all prepped today because we got concrete ordered for the next day to get it poured we didn't want this to hold us up now I'm using DeWalt's 60 volt max blower to kind of blow the dust away from Darren keep it out of his face he does have his face shield on he's got his ear protection on he's got his safety glasses on so the blower works really good to do this now it does come the cutoff saw does come with a water attachment which help that is kind of convenient um, we just thought the blower would be a little bit quicker and we didn't have a lot of sarn to do in this instance so we decided to use the blower today now we didn't really know how thick the asphalt was or we really didn't know how thick the concrete was either but come to find out this asphalt right here is pretty darn thick it was much thicker than you know the what the the blade depth would go down but as you'll see here in a minute we're going to figure figure this out and get that corner cut out of there but it just it just took a little bit of time because of how thick they ended up pouring that we figured it was probably about three inches thick maybe but what we really like about the nine inch cutoff saw is number one it's really light it'll take just about any of the dewalt batteries that we have already will fit inside there anyways from you know the smaller ones the four amp the five amp the six amp all the way up to i believe we we probably have a, like a 9 amp battery in there. So what we're trying to do really is we're trying to cut that so we can, when we set our forms, our form will set right inside the asphalt and the asphalt will just be, not only act as a brace, but when we pull the form out, you know, there'll be very little gap there between the original asphalt and where the slab is going to be. And he's going right from the concrete right to the asphalt and it's just cutting right through. That's also DeWalt's diamond blade that came on the saw. Now you can see the concrete on the very end of that cap wasn't very, definitely wasn't very thick going down to the end there. But the asphalt was. So the end, the end piece of the concrete came out really easy. And Darren's using DeWalt's 20 volt max SDS rotary hammer drill with, we got a little chipping, uh, and on the end of it to chip out the concrete chip out some of the asphalt if we need it so both of those tools are ones that we use a ton in the concrete you know world that we're in anyway yeah that gives you a really good idea how thick that asphalt ended up being so it basically just took you know i don't know three or four minutes to get that piece cut out and removed using the cutoff tool and the rotary chipping hammer and then Darren's just cleaning up the edge. We want the slab to end up matching up right with the edge of this is kind of what they were hoping for. So by the time we get the form set up and squared and set to grade, we really didn't want to have a, a little gap in between the slab and the curb. Now I'm also using DeWalt's tape measure there. It's a 25 foot tape measure that DeWalt has. We're using their DeWalt's chalk line. I got the self-leveling laser we're going to be using from DeWalt. So just a ton of DeWalt tools used in the preparation of this concrete slab. Makes our jobs really easier actually to have them all the same brand, I think. You know, just everything works really well together and we really like it. So we're getting the forms. Now our job here was basically the slab prep only. We didn't do the dirt prep. That was all done by the the contractor on site they're doing a bunch of those condo buildings you see on the back right here in corner there's probably 15 of those in this area that we're in and 
for every like section, like two or three condo units, they have these slabs here. They're going to end up putting dumpsters in here and they'll end up putting a chain link fence all the way around this. Make it try to make it look a little bit better. So our job was just to come in, do the slab prep, the slab pour and the slab finish, strip the forms and get out of here. And that's, you know, the so today we're just getting the forms up, getting them set to grade. We'll get the two inches of styrofoam in here. And then for the next video, I'll show you, I'll show you how we pour and finish a slab like this, cut some joints in it, use the edger tools, put a broom finish on it. But right now we're just getting uh, Joe's checking the dirt grade. And we write in the dirt grade, you know, we got a, we got a ruler on the grade stick so it, he can write in the dirt grade what the numbers are. We can figure out just how level the dirt is and come up with our six inch average. And that allows us to figure out where the top of the forms need to be compared to the level of the dirt. So we're going, we're actually going eight inches above the dirt because we got the two inches of styrofoam plus the six inches of concrete. So we readjust the receiver on the laser stick, lift everything up till it beeps uh, grade, and then we just screw it in using DeWalt's drill driver and some T25 screws. So everything's set to grade now. Now we just get to lay the styrofoam board down. Now most of it went in relatively easy. We had to cut around the footings and we're using Actually, I'm, I'm using DeWalt Sawzall to do that. <laughs> it cut around, you can see it cut around them footings really easy so they could, the styrofoam would sit pretty flush. And that's what it looked like when we got the prep done. Now the pour just calls for 4,000 PSI concrete, fiber mesh, air entrainment, water reducer in it. So that's what I'm gonna order for concrete and then we get to fit all the tools and the batteries back in the toolboxes there. So this was the end of the pour. If you want to see the full video, you know, make sure you like and subscribe and come on back. And I'll have that video coming up the week after the week after this one's out. So you'll have it'll be linked here at the end of the video. So thanks for watching, guys. Go to www.dewalt.com if you want to check out more of their tools. I'll also have a link from them down the bottom of the video.